Hey guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbin. Today we are on my 2021 Kawasaki KLX 300 Supermoto. And today we're gonna do a realistic zero to 60 test on this bike. Um, I know a lot of people out there in the world have, you know, say the KLX 250 or a CRF 250 or the CRF 300. This little um, dual sport Supermoto adventure class, whatever, around the 250, 300 cc is extremely popular right now. I know a lot of people uh, that are with these bikes, big YouTubers like Jake the Garden Snake, he has a full build of his CRF 300. Um, there's just a ton of YouTubers that are going towards these smaller displacement, really lightweight dual sport adventure bikes because they're just a ton of fun. They weigh like as much as a mountain bike. Well, not really, but it feels like it when you're riding it, especially coming from a bigger bike. And they're just really zippy and fun. Um, but with that being said, how do they stack up against a stoplight race? You're with your buddy. He's on his, I don't know, Ninja 400 or maybe he's in um, a Mustang or some sports car and you want to see if you can beat him on your KLX 300 Supermoto. Well today we're going to find out just how fast it goes and if you have any type of chance of hanging with your buddies or random people at a stoplight grudge race. Now let me preface this saying I am by no means a professional motorcycle racer or anything like this. Just an average rider. Um, I don't know. Maybe a little bit above average but basically average, nothing crazy. So I think it's gonna be a good representation of what you're probably gonna do out on the road. Unless you're some, uh, you know, top uh, pro road racer or top MX rider that really knows bikes really well. So we'll see how fast the bike can go and uh, let's go catch a stoplight and see what we can do. All right, guys, here we go, boys. Let's do it. Launch wasn't great, but hey, it was first run, so we'll have to see how fast that was. That felt a little bit quicker. Not much quicker, but it felt a little bit quicker. Here we go. Oh my god look at that drone dude wait is that a helicopter holy crap that thing is sick whoa oh my gosh that thing was so cool well guys i think we got a good amount of runs in on the klx 300 supermoto um it's a lot of fun the bike feels pretty slow you know, a 300 is never going to really feel fast unless it's like your first time riding one. And you're just getting into riding. But I think that was uh, that was pretty fun. You know, uh, another thing to consider is the weight. Uh, I'm about 170 and then I'm probably wearing about 15 pounds of gear. So 185 pounds um, of me on top of the bike. And, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I really love this bike. I didn't buy it for its speed. I bought it for uh, nostalgia, more just, I don't know, you know, riding the Yamaha WR250R back in high school, doing wheelies. That bike, I don't know, brought, it brought so much fun to my life and adventure that having this in the garage and uh, being able to ride it just kind of like takes me back to that time. Even though I'm still young, it's not like I'm 50 years old, <laughs> 23 years old, but, Something about being 16 years old, riding one of these dual sports is, man, one of the best moments, uh, a lot of fun in life. So yeah, I really love this bike. It's been a ton of fun. I don't want to get rid of it. I really don't want to get rid of it. I'm going to try to keep it as long as possible. Maybe do a few more mods to it. You can do some like exhaust, airbox tune. But honestly, with a little bike like this, it's probably not even worth it. You're just gonna get a couple more horsepower I don't know if it's worth it, but 
But yeah, tell me what you guys think about the times below. At this point, I don't know how fast I did 0 to 60 because I haven't gone back and looked. But I would say it felt around, I don't know, 7 seconds. Maybe it was quicker. I don't, I'll have to let's go look back. But uh, it's a really easy bike to ride. Uh, very forgiving. And it's just a ton of fun. Looks awesome. You can kind of mod it out. They're not super expensive. Basically anyone can probably buy one of these bikes, honestly, if you just work and set your mind towards it. I got this one for 4,900, so nothing crazy, but a ton of fun and I absolutely love it. I think I like it more than my WR, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you guys have this bike or a similar competitor bike, like the CRF 250, the CRF 300, um yamaha wr 250 i never i don't think i ever did a zero to 60 back then i wasn't doing that um let me know how fast you guys have gone because i'm curious how this stacks up against those uh but yeah if, if you're interested in this bike i hope this video helps you and maybe making your decision like is it fast enough but i think most people looking at it are not looking for a zero to 60 time but it's a fun thing to test very fun to test for all kinds of vehicles so i hope you guys enjoyed this video more videos to come i miss making videos and i miss seeing your guys comments so uh thank you guys for everything and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya bye